Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, feeling pretty good today. Nice new aerodynamic haircut. I think it's about the shortest I've ever had, so... Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. So I'm really excited about the vlog this week. Um, I live in the southern part of Florida, which is in the United States, and we have a hurricane headed straight for us. Um, it's expected to impact us tomorrow. Today is supposed to be sunny and hot and clear, and then we start feeling the impacts of the hurricane sometime tomorrow morning or early tomorrow afternoon. So as of right now, the day before, it's uh, Category 1, so it's not really a major hurricane, um, but it is expected to strengthen. Now it's kind of up in the air whether it's going to hit us directly or if it's going to kind of skirt uh, along our coast, uh, along Florida, and then up the eastern seaboard of the United States. Um, that keeps changing from hour to hour. All right, but that's enough of me talking. I'm going to grab my camera and stuff, and let's get down to the beach. Um, again, it's going to be a crystal clear, beautiful day, uh, but hopefully tomorrow is when all the fun stuff starts. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll see you here in a little bit. Bye-bye. Hey, good morning guys. It's the next morning. It's about 8 a.m. Uh, a little bit disappointing. Uh, the storm has slowed down overnight. Uh, the forward direction or the forward movement of it has slowed down. Uh, so we didn't get, uh, we haven't had much of an impact yet. We're starting to get some uh, clouds and maybe some out of the outer rain bands. Uh, but really it's not even, it's barely even breezy right now. Uh, the surf has kicked up a little bit. So I think I got some good shots of that. Uh, but definitely not what I was hoping for. In fact, most of the time we were out shooting this morning, it was uh, bright and sunny. It's only here in the last few minutes that the clouds have moved in. So, yeah, um, 
Unfortunately, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get back down here because I just read a couple of reports that they started shutting down other beaches in the area. Um, so I don't know if they uh, plan on shutting them all down at some point as the storm gets closer. Uh, but I'm going to try to get back out here a little bit later um, to see if I can get at least get some shots of, uh, I don't know, the wind and you know, the rain and uh, just the awesome looking clouds. So, um, all right, so I'll check back in with you here in a little bit. See you in a bit. All right, guys, if you see behind me, these are the first outer bands of the hurricane. Uh, got some, looks like some pretty heavy rain behind me coming in um, down to the south. And they actually have some storms up to the north. Um, but again, it's not even windy right now. I'm sure it's coming at some point. And I was just hoping for it to come a little bit sooner. Um, I don't know if you can see those palm trees behind me. Barely even moving. So. I don't even know if you can hear me on this thing. I'm on the GoPro now. Um, wind really started to pick up as one of those outer bands uh, moved through. So uh, I got, got some good photos and I got some good video. So all is not lost. So guys, this is more like it. So if you can see behind me here, we got these really awesome rain bands coming in here. The wind's really picked up here in the last few minutes as this uh, band moves through. Uh, I'm trying to take some uh, time lapses here, but my camera keeps blowing over, so I'm having to hold it and block the wind with my bag. Uh, yeah, it's getting ready to pour here, so I'm gonna put this camera away for a little bit. And uh, yeah, this is what we've been waiting for right here. Okay, back with you in a little bit. That was an awesome rain band that just moved through. We probably had gusts, probably 40, 45 miles an hour. I'm not really sure. Uh, but it was, uh, I was getting blasted with sand, a little bit hard to stand up. I had to brace myself against this, uh, this wooden box behind me here. Uh, as with uh, hurricanes uh, and the bands, now we got some blue skies out on the horizon. I don't even know if you can see that behind me. Uh, but there's uh, another big band of rain coming in uh, right behind it. So uh, yeah, uh, this is what we've been waiting for. So uh, I'm going to go take some pictures and uh, I'll get back to you in a little while. Dan's taking a wind reading here in the eye of the tropical storm. 10, 11. 
Hey, good morning guys. It is now Sunday morning and we're finally starting to feel the impact of the storm. And honestly, it hasn't turned out to be much of a storm at all. Um, it was downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm. And even down here at the beach, we're only feeling about 30 mile an hour winds at the very most. So um, yeah, it had a lot of things working against it. I guess some, uh, some high level wind, wind shear and you know some dry air and some Saharan dust all kind of working against uh, uh, its development. So anyway, but you'll never hear me complain about uh, stormy, moody, uh, weather with big surf and and high winds and yeah, it's been fun and I hope you guys have followed along and enjoyed it. Um, it's, it's still only August 2nd, so we have several or a couple more months anyway of uh, potential hurricane weather. So hopefully this isn't the last one. So I'm gonna put some pictures up that I've got over the last couple days. I'm gonna put them up on the screen for you now and. Uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this vlog, so anyway, uh, leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, take care, protect each other, mask up, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. So after I put up the pictures on the screen for you, stay tuned because um, I'm going to put up a couple of uh, time lapses that I also made for you. And uh, yeah, thanks again for joining in. really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.